Good evening and welcome back again. If you joined us last time, you would have seen a 3-0 win. Could and should have been a lot more, to be honest, but three points, good performance, three goals. Wilson got a brace and Isaac got a goal. And Isaac's now top of the goal scoring charts for the league. Next match is against Club Bruges, so we'll jump into this election. So again, first choice 11, no one's on a, a down or anything, which is great. Yeah, I was on a red, that should be interesting. Lewis has got to start. Rain has got to come in, I think. Um, I think we'll put him on for Bruno. Almiron didn't start the last match. I think we'll leave the rest as is. And it's snowing, apparently. So yeah, thanks very much again for, for watching. Um, Hope you've been enjoying the series if you've been been watching them. I'm really enjoying the, the process of getting back into the game, but also the actual recording and editing and just getting used to it really. I have, you know, if you look at my channel you can see that I've recorded quite a fair bit of stuff in the past, but I'm just trying to be better at it, doing a, being a bit more consistent. Here's Wilson. Oof. It's hard to see the uh Ball, I know it's orange, but hard to see. We really had a chance to score there. You uh, left his lines, I think. I'm not sure how that's a free kick. I really don't. Once back in, arrested him in the last match for shot because he was on a red. And like I said before, unless it's a player you really don't want to play, what would mean replacing your absolute superstar talent? You want to play someone while they're on a red? If possible. Mm -hmm. What is going on there? I don't know how that didn't end up in the back of the net. Good tackle be up by the out. It's not where you would expect to see him, but um in his defensive duties. Get on the overlap. Oh lovely ball through to Wilson. That should have been a goal. Chalk and finish from me there. So midway through the first half, one absolute clear cut chance. Oh, Isaac could be in here. Oh, hasn't quite got the legs to by the two defenders. Must pass a straight at uh, white shirt. Nice effort. Have a quick look at that. And the keeper had it covered, but you know, the ball's not even orange. Why did I? I think from a distance it does look a bit orange because of the white and what white and red um, touch. Not a great pass actually. Nice ball out wide to uh, Rice. Been much of Reina yet, mainly because the, the play's been out wide.
somehow loses out. That was a snail's pace. I have said in previous videos that does sometimes happen. Even someone that's got great passing abilities, that just some of the passes they put through, it's infinitely slow. The corner. I'm not playing terribly, but pretty even. Lovely play by Reina there. Oh man, what can he do? Nice ball out wide to the out. How did he get there? He is very pacey and he was ahead of the defender. I think some of the um, sprinting and acceleration is not even elastic banded, but it's like it's all over the shop here. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I think sometimes AI is given a, a boost. Even with relatively average paced players can catch up with, you know, your speed merchant. It, it, it's a bit odd. Nearly got a good uh, deflection, I was going to say. We can throw again here. Good tackle by Lewis in the end, and that's half time. So, not what you would say a, a, a fantastic first half for me, but I thought it was quite entertaining. And we'll jump back into the second half and see if we can actually get a goal fairly early on. I'm sure that'll sure things up a little bit. Nearly letting a goal. Wasn't sure about bringing Pope out there. I did, and it's probably the right choice because I closed down the angle. Be lucky to get a win out of this one. Again, one of those slow passes. It's Liao. Hasn't really been on the ball too much. Here he is now. Oh, what a finish that is. He is our star player. I'm sure next season he will be right up there with goals and assists, contributions. But a lovely run. Halfway up the pitch with his weaker foot. But that's what happens when you play a player on a red. I mean, he's a fantastic player to start with, but... You play a player that's on a red and they will, given the right circumstances, play out of their skin. Technically, you know, Liao is my best player. To get him on a red is fantastic and you can see the difference it makes there. You know, we've struggled a bit in this game, but to have him as an outlet A save a block, couldn't quite see. Is it just wide? Yeah, it was. Make a substitution shortly, or rather, three substitutions. I always try and use my. Um, oop. I looked at the referee and somehow thought he's one of my players, then how he looks totally different. So we'll give us the opportunity to change our players. Definitely going to bring on St. Maximum. And I think we're going to put one on for Wilson. I'm going to put Liao up top and I'm going to put Maximum on the left. Be his favourite position. I think we're going to give Anderson some time. And we'll put him on for Declan Rice. 
I think we'll bring the cells on for Radio just because I not really want anyone sort of up top I want to change. I don't want to really bring Elmron off when he hasn't been quite as much. Nice tackle by Lewis there. Anderson gets in the ball on the ball early. We'll pass there. It wasn't he was intended to pass to, by the way. Sometimes that happens. But like even when you are genuinely pressing totally not that way, it'll pass that way. Lips with a great one. Here's Liao. Oh, could have been two. Should he have passed it? We scored the first one. I think he probably had the rights to have a shot there. We have a relatively similar angle. Oh, what a header that is. What a header. Not saving that one. Would you believe it? That's the first goal we've let in in the league this season. Not so much for letting in the goal, but it's the where they this game is, you know. That's a foul. Alright, we don't need a punch up. Um, oh, that's way offside, isn't it? No? I've reacted to the whistle and just played on like it wasn't offside. Rookie mistake. Oh, really, I was getting through there. I mean, I say that, he probably would on another day. Oh, I didn't tackle him there. And St. Maximum should get there and he will. Yeah, will he have the pace? Surely he's got the pace here. Come on. What a finish that is as well. Again, fantastic work from Liao. Thought about having a shot laid up back. Lovely left foot of finish from Armour on there. Just placed it. Do not let this lead slip this time, eh? Recovery by uh, Trippier there. Look how hard uh, Lee was working there, and Maxman to be fair. Oh, nice little flick. Lovely little ball through to St. Maximum. Just blocked. Tackle there. I didn't even see that player. Wonderful movement from the out. Hornet. Not much else there, really. And, um, gotta have Trippier taking this, surely. 
One last chance here. Oh, I should have scored. But that's the win. Tough game up, but I really enjoyed that. That was really good. I think Bruges were a little bit unlucky. And game records, ratings, not surprising at all. Liao, man of the match. Rainer, only a five. That's probably about right. When you say five, it's not really five out of ten. A good score is seven. The ratings are weird. Isaac, yeah, he didn't do that great, but he didn't do that badly. I would say the rating is about spot on for, for Pez at least. Jamal Lewis did really well. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. But again, Liao made all of the difference. So just having a look at the scoring and assist charts. Isaac now level at the top. Armand's jumped up a little bit to four. This wise, Liao's now got two. Alongside Armand, Maximum and Joel Linton and Trippier. Next match is the second leg against Nottingham Forest. We won 1-0 in the first leg, should be comfortable getting through to the final. But once again, thank you very much for joining. I hope you can come and join next time for potentially a route into the final. And I'll see you all then.